Hi, today we will learn how to create a simple CDSU that is core data service using ADT that is Adapt Development Tool in Eclipse. So here we will create the CDSU with the code pushed on concepts. So what is the code pushed on concepts? So here my requirement is I want to create a CDSU to select data from the customer open item table that is BS ID with the push, uh, code push down concept that is if the debit credit indicator is H then the amount I want to display with the negative sign. So first we'll see like how we can check the customer open line item with the transition code FBL fine. In FBL fine we can see all the customer open line item with debit credit indicator and the respective amount. But same if you see at the table level, this is the report output on the left hand side. So if you see here, all the amount with debit that is indicator S, the amount are in positive. And whenever there is an indicator is H that is credited, the amount is in negative. This is the report output. But when we try to select data from BS ID table, and on the right hand side, this is the table screenshot. So at the table level, you can see all the amount positive only but with a debit credit indicator. So what we do in normal programming? In normal web program, first we select all the required data from the BSID table into an internal table. Then after that, we make a loop at the internal table when the indicator is H and then we multiply the amount by minus one and modify the internal table. This is the normal adapt programming to get the output like this which is on the left hand side based on the data from table which is on the right hand side so what we can do with the cds view by creating the cds view in the edit we can make use of code push down concepts this means that by selecting data from the bs id table here first we can select all the fields and by comparing the debit credit indicator from the field shkzg here we have to add the case uh, add the case statement. So if the indicator is H, then DMBTR multiply minus one, or else keep as it is, that is plus one, and end as DMBTR. So once we implement this logic, there is no need to make a loop in the program. So after creating the CDS view, we can call that CDS view directly into the app program, and we can select all data from the CDS view into internal table and directly display the output. So what is the advantage of CDS view for this requirement? The very first advantage is code pushed on. We can remove the loop because suppose if we have around 100 records or let's say 200 record, then the loop will be executed in a shorter time. But in a real time scenario, the BSID table contains lakhs of record. And if you want to make a loop, on a data which contains like 10,000, 50,000, one well, like data, this can create a performance issue. So advantage of this code pushed on concepts, like our loop is removed, and as soon as the loop is removed, that complete time we can save. Second advantage of CDS view, like once we create a CDS view, we can reuse the CDS view based on our requirement on the multiple places, like to create any program, to call this view in the RFC function model classes or any smart form. And we can also make use of the CDS view to generate the all data service through CDS annotations. So now we'll log into system. First, I will show you data, how this looks in the SAP site, and then we'll create the CDS view. This is FBL fine transition code to display the customer line item. So here I'm entering my customer ID and I selected the open items with type normal item, special GL and noted items. So if I execute this customer open line item, so here we can see the amount field. Here is the amount field. I will select a debit credit indicator from the layout as it is not there in my original layout. 
So this is the debit credit indicator. Okay, I have to pull in the left hand side. So here we can see if the indicator is H, that is credit. So we can see amount is negative, and wherever the amount indicator is S, we can see the amount with the positive. This again negative. Now same if we check at the table level. If I open the table in SC16 VS ID. So here we can see the debit credit indicator, but the all the amount in positive only. So what we'll do now we'll create a CDS view based on this indicator. If it is H, we need to show this amount as negative. Now we log into edit system to create the CDS view, and we'll select only the required data. I'm not selecting all the fields as of now. So I'm selecting only limited fields because my main aim is to show the case statement for the field DM BTR. And here we will take the debit credit indicator that is SH SHG and always select all the key fields from the table. Now we log into edit and we'll create one CDS view. So this is my edit system. Here right click new other object data definition inside the core data services okay so let me show you where it is exactly so in the app, app we have to expand data dictionary core data services and data definition give the package name and here we have to give the cds name, uh, view name so I'm giving ZK FI CTS1. This is my CDS name and description CDS view for let's say FI BSID table. Next, select so the transport request. Now, here we have the option to select template. Based on our requirement, there are different templates available. So initially, I'm going with the basic view, that is, with the template defined view. Click on finish. Now based on template selected, we can see uh, see some default <coughs> annotations and the uh, select statement in a single statement line here. So those are called as the annotations and the name which we are given it is here that is ZK FICDS view. So here first we need to provide the SQL view name. So once we create CDS view and after activation we can search the CDS view with the code SE11 with the name which will provide here. So max length provide as a 16 character. So here give the name as let's say Z SQL underscore FICDS1 and define view this is the view name and as select from here we need to give data source name that is a table name from which we want to select the data so here I'm giving as BS ID and now add all the fields from the table which we want to add in our CDS view so as I mentioned always select all the key fields and after key fields, based on our requirement, we can add a different fields. If you want to search here, press Ctrl space, so you can see all the fields here. This way also we can do. So I am selecting all the required fields based on my requirement. Now let's understand how to write the case statement from here. See, after selecting all the fields, for the field which we want to compare with the case statement, we can write like this case that field name and when the XYZ value and then what we want to display the value as. Okay, so for the field SHKZG, I want to display, I want to change the DMBTR amount. So here I will write after this SHK control space KZG. Case 
So you can see the output. So instead of this is the demo output, if you are using any LV report, we can actually display data in the LV report. So we can see all the credit indicator are with negative sign and the debit with positive sign. So in this way, we can create the CTS view with the code pushed on concepts. And after creating the, the CTS view with code pushed on concepts, we can call that directly into the web program. And this way, by this way, we can provide the making use of loop and this can be very really useful from the performer's point of view. So hope you find this uh, helpful. Thank you.